Oh, yeah. If you're OG like me, it gives you a, takes you back to a special place. When the world wasn't shit. And you can play Quest for Glory. So you want to be a hero. Uh, yeah, new game, guys. Whoa, that's super fast. That's super fast. So let's just keep it there. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's roll into this. There's five of these things. We're going to play at least four of them. We may skip five. We may even skip two. Number two. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're going to start our new... We're not gonna, the intro is just credits. They don't do shit. We're just going to start our new hero. All right, so, question is, do we want to be a fighter? A magic user or a thief? I've never been a magic user. I've always been a fighter or a thief. So I think we are going to do a magic user just because I want to make it a little challenging. Our dude. We shall name him. We need a nice wizardy name. What's a good wizard name? We'll just go with uh, Usul. Let's go with Usul. We'll go back to our dune roots here. Alright, so it doesn't need to be very strong. So we got 50 points we get to dull out here. But you know, I think we need some vitality. Luck is always good to have, right? And I don't think you can earn luck. We can get our weapon use up and our throwing and our climbing. There'll be some grinding, folks. You'll probably don't have to deal with it. I'll probably do that off screen. Uh, we got five more points. Let's put it into vitality. Because you also have stamina, so that's something that's important as well. All right, we're out of points. Let's get it on. Here we go. Here's us. Tussle. Tell me of your home world, Tussle. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead, you are the porch. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. Scam likely. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. Welcome to our town. You are lucky to have made it down from the mountains. Before the snow blocked the pass again, it's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. I am the Seraph Schultz. Mr. Sen, this is Otto Van Goon, my assistant. Good luck in your quests. All right, so you can... I'm going to play blah, 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 what? Oh, uh, that... Uh, maybe that's in the later ones. You can click on yourself to talk and, like, greet them. Whatever. All right, so that's about the mountain. You should know you came... You know, you came down from there. Okay, well, thanks for that. Tell me about the town. This town was named after the Baron von Spielberg. It used to be a lively place to be before the brigands came down. Drove all the business away. You can find a place to stay at the inn next door. You can learn about jobs available at the guild hall down the street. If you're interested in magic, you should visit the magic shop. There's still plenty to do and see here in Spielberg. Well, the Baron. Baron Stefan keeps most to himself at the castle north of here. We haven't seen him here in over in four years. And we haven't seen him in town here for years. All right, what about magic? Just next to the end is a small magic shop. The owner Zara will let you in if you have some abilities in that area. She's a strange one, all right. 
Go talk to the innkeeper. He will help you there. All right. Guildhall is the southwest corner of town. If you're looking for work, that's the place to go. Monsters. The monsters come down from the mountains every winter, but they're usually gone by now. The Baron just doesn't have nothing to handle them. Wolfgang is here. Wolfgang is one to talk to about monsters. He had a lot of experience with them. Who's Wolfgang? Wolfgang at the guild hall is one to talk to about monsters. Okay, yeah. We get all that. Hold on. What was it? Was there something else? Okay, it just went recycled through all that stuff. Same with answers. Oh, there's a whole band of Bergens hiding out here somewhere in the mountains around there. They got robbed merchants last week. Had a fair amount of treasure out here. The one who was robbed, he's staying at the inn, I believe. Go talk to the innkeeper. He will help you there. All right. Obtaining treasure involves putting yourself in danger. If you're brave, foolish, or lucky, you might get some treasure. My friend, the world is full of danger. Sometimes I think it might be better to choose your danger rather than sitting around waiting for it, as I seem to do. But enough of the philosophical rambling. I'm content enough being the sheriff of Spielberg. Doesn't sound like it. You need to talk to the Baron about that, or go to the West Wolfgang at the Guild Hall, which is just down the street. So you're gonna be a hero, huh? Well, we could sure usually we could surely use one around here. That with all the brigands. I'm the sheriff. All right. What the fuck is he playing with? All right. Let's speed it up a little bit, actually. Not sure what the detail does, but we're going to increase it. He's pretty fucking good at that. Well, he said to go to the guild hall, so let's go check out the guild hall. I think there's our magic shop. She's the only sane person here. At least she's not off her rocker. Ha ha. She's really sleeping soundly, but doesn't notice your presence. All right, let's go in the door. What spells do we know? Spells don't seem to work here. That's how we rest and run. All that kind of stuff. The Ventures Guild reminds you of your one in your hometown. The traditional loose head and other stuffed monsters, Sorus Troll, Griffin Dragon, Cheetar, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see the registration book on the table, the bullet board full of job listings. The man standing near the window must be the Guildmaster. He is snoring. Oh, I meant to look. This is certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything quite like it. The plaque reads Antwerp, slain by the two guys from Andromeda. The little space bus plug. Heads like a panther, but strong like human quality. It's still rather frightening. Cheetar, slain by Wolfgang. Even to death, the remote remains awesome. Slain by the Baron Stefan von Stolberg. The dragon. A nasty troll. Wolfgang got that sucker too. Wolfgang got the griffin. It's courtesy of the Sierra Online Prop Department. I never saw Purple Stars before. Came to Spielberg. It looks like a really stupid monster. Hans Hafwitten. Let's read the book first before we go sign anything. Oh boy, snoring, man. Needs to wake his ass up. This entry was made several years ago. It says the better not to put on the Spielberg, kill a troll in the Flying Falls on the 23rd of the day of October. Go and give it a sign. You sign your name to the adventures logbook with a flourish. Let's go look at the board. I guess we gotta talk to that joker too. The reward for the return of the lost ring acquired the healers. Reward for 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description short, ugly, wears brightly colored robes, has a habit of laughing continually. Acquired Spielberg Gates. Poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture of a small child with braids. Reward 50 coins. The safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. The brigand leader. All right. Acquired the gate. Spell components. Need for cash. All right. We can do that too. 
Picture of Shane's been here for a while. It's a picture of a handsome and arrogant young man. Reward 50 gold coins. Information regarding to the return of the Baronet. Barn. Barnard von Spielberg. All right. So, everyone is missing. I should get closer. All right. So, he can stab me with his fucking sword? Oh, what a glorious day it was. Oh, I was there. Oh, hello. This is where an adventure can find out who needs some brave and courteous. There are many jobs on the bulletin board over there. It's a good place to talk. Blah, blah, blah. I just play cards here once a week as well. There are too few adventures in Spielberg anymore. They all die for the monsters and the Gregorian. So just got old. I didn't even know. I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Yeah, busy fucking sleeping. Valley is cursed, eh? Uh, the time when Schultz and I read the Valley of Antwerps. Yeah. All right, I've got the monsters. Most of them. There's two old now. Yep, we got you. All right, this really guy really has nothing good for us. Castles to the north. Healers to the north. All okay. right. Let's just make sure there's nothing. Oh, we're happy now. Oh, okay, the sheriff. All right. I thought that goon was him. The goon's like an ogre, not as tough, but a little smarter. The sheriff's auto and crusher at the tavern, both goons. All right. All right, well, let's, uh... Go see the healer, I guess, or go to the castle. Let's figure out what we got to do here. Or should we go? Let's, let's go. How much money do we got? Do we have money? We have four gold pieces and ten silver. Five free rations. Walk around right to the counter. Hey, I'm Zara. My companion is Domino. This is an item in the shop designed for those skilled in the use of magic. Well, that would be me. Uh, what about you? I am both human and fairy folk. I draw my power from both. Uh, she's a fairy. Nice. People of power and magic and live in the forest far beyond the mountains to the west. Power is the essence of magic, that which the wizard shapes and shapes and shapes. So whatever. If you have the skill of magic, you can learn the way to cast spells by reading magical scrolls. Without the skill, you have no power. The more you practice spell casting, the greater you shall become. When you have mastered nine spells, have the power to cast all and prove yourself worthy by accomplishing a great deed, you must undergo the initiation to become a full wizard. There's a place in the distant south where you must journey, but first you must become a hero here. The wizard is one who shapes magic and is shaped by it. Erasmus and I are the only wizards in this valley. Erasmus. Erasmus is a wizard and a spellcaster who knows much about this area. He lives in a tower northeast of the town at the top of a sea mountain called Zottenberg. He can be very helpful if approached properly, but he has a strange sense of humor. The power of potion restores your magical energy and costs 75 silver. There are many entrances to the Hall of Magical Mastery in the south. After you have gained a skill and a good reputation in magic, you should journey south. If you're indeed worthy of being a wizard, you will find a way to those halls. Master of the Arts Arcane and use those skills to vanquish the evil and you will become a true hero. Uh, as both my familiar and my friend, we share our lives and our magic. The familiar is a creature of magical abilities which has been summoned to serve the wizard. The summoning of a familiar is the most powerful spell and can be cast but once. It binds the wizard and the familiar to the end of their lives. The more powerful the wizard, the more powerful the familiar, although you cannot always judge a power by a familiar shape. So how do I buy stuff? Just hand her money? 
Ooh. Just got healing potions. How much money do we got left now? One gold and ten silver. Should we buy something else? No. We'll save our money. And like that, she's gone. All right, so let's head back over here east. And there's some place to buy some food, an item shop. Maybe we should get some throwing daggers, at least one. How much does a dagger cost? You can smell apples as you approach this corner. Good day, and welcome to Spillbook. Would you like to buy some of my nice fresh fruits or vegetables? We ain't doing voices this walkthrough, or this playthrough. Uh, dry goods store. It smells like a musty library. The stove feels nice on such a crisp day behind the counter and on the shelves. There are a variety of items for sale. The shopkeeper appears to ignore you while he reads a book. I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in. Ma, you look like an adventurer. We don't see too many around here. The brigands tend to get rid of most adventurers before they make it to town. I do try to stock some things adventurers can use. I actually would rather be an adventurer than a shopkeeper, you see. My items are pretty ordinary, though. You probably already have most of them if you've got any venturing at all. What do you got? Here you are. Thank you, sir. That's all we wanted. So now we can throw one dagger. If we throw two, we can't stab anybody. Uh, there's a bar. We don't want to go to the bar yet. I don't even know if we can do anything in the bar. I know the Thieves Guild's in the bar, but we're not a thief. The breeze is cool, but you feel a sh shiver deeper than just the cold. You're really now on your own in a very dangerous place. Nope, oh, I skipped his message. The creature looks like a bird. Small flying, more like a bird, a small flying lizard than a bird. This has a sign of a healer entrance above it. All right. Well, we're going to do a little bit of grinding real quick. And then maybe make some cash. And a friend. Alright, we're carrying too much is what it told us. But we're going to need all these rocks. Oh, we already have open. And zap. Alright, we got rid of that guy, but we need the nest. See, there's something in there. Alright, that's taking too long. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Alright, better to fast forward, fast forward. I'm no longer overloaded. It was a load off my mind. Alright, so what we were doing there, let's look at our player card. Well, one, we were using stamina. We got no throwing skill. We know I thought we could level that up. Well, oh, son of a bitch. Can we just get lucky? All right, well, we're going to have to get the fetch spell before we can do it. We're going to have to fetch the, uh... Fetch the nest! All right, told you I never played Magic User before. We're learning. All right.
Okay. Let's go the reward. There's a reward offered for the safe return of the Baronet Van Helsa. 50 gold. Capture death of the Grim Warlock. 50 gold. All right. 50 gold. Here are the realm of Spielberg's title, respect, and honor. A true hero can release this from the land and curse. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let me in. Do we need to make some money and then go try and buy that fetch spell? He's a sword master. We can't do nothing with him. If he were a fighter, he could train us. But we can get a job here. You looking for some work? Yep. We can also stay the night here, too. Get to work! Alright, let's put us some silver in our hands. And it also makes us stronger. Five silvers richer. We have five silver pieces, so apparently we've spent all our money. On a dagger, we can never learn how to throw. Good work, Jeremy. All right, well, we're breaking the cardinal rule of a uh, CR game is we got to save. All right, out on our own. Ah, uh, if I could type. Whatever. All right, let's we'll just look around. Well, how are we doing on time and energy? That's not what I wanted to do. Sunset approaches on day one. Stamina, we're pretty good on stamina. Let's go find uh, a place to sleep. We're going to break into a jog, though. In case we run into anything. And there'll be random encounters. I think something's coming. Oh, yeah, we don't want to mess with one of those guys yet, though. Did we lose him? I think we lost him. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Yeah, this is where we wanted to come. Uh, the meadow lies covered with a blanket of flowers. Unusual for this early in the spring, it is warm, even though surrounded by the late snows of winter. A carved stone lies flat in the ground. You feel as though someone gentle was watching over you. You feel that you are safe here. The air has the fresh, clean scent of the mountains, accompanied by the numerous perfume-like fragrances. The large stone appears to be ancient, deliberately placed. Marks carved into the stone almost look like writing. Well, read it then. No amount of physical effort will be able to move the stone. He said physical effort. Nice. The stone has been moved. In a hole hidden beneath the ancient stone, someone has placed a scroll. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical ruins. Upon it, you now have the knowledge to cast a calm spell. Let's grab some flowers. You pick a variety of flowers, sweet smelling, they seem to glow in your hands. You put them away safely. We get some fruit. The sweet, juicy fruit of the trees is amazing, satisfying, and refreshing. What time is it? Sunset approaches. How are we doing on stamina? Eh, about halfway. It got smarter. Uh, 
Alright, but we can stay all night here. And we'll be safe. Now, you can't do that everywhere. You sleep comfortably among the fragrant, fragrant flowers. You awake when the sun begins to rise. Alright. So we need money to buy spells. That doesn't look like somewhere we need to go. Maybe we can cast calm on him. Suddenly a feeling of peace and tranquility permeates the area. Can we kill him now? Is that a troll? It looks like a troll or something. This isn't going to go well. Tough battle, but you lost. Never fear. All you have to do is restore your game. What? What do you mean, restore? All right. Well, we know how to stop him, but I doubt we can deal with what's inside there. I know what's inside there, and I don't know how to stop it with a magic user. I mean, probably the same. One of the same spells. We need fetch. I think we just need to get fetch. Let's kind of just creep around here. We do need to fight some people. We need to fight some goblins first, though. Those are the easy ones. It's over here. Some snow. What the fuck? Oh! Far from the frost field fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. He likes his alliteration. My name is known in the Northlands as Bra Bragugi. Barter with blades, clash, or bargain with me. Find me some fruit for the mellow my mead horn. Give a gift I will give of a gem that now glows. Jewel from Jothim, flare the frost flame. Fetch to me fruit that will fill up my fists. Looks like it'll take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, we gotta get him a bunch of apples. We gotta carry like 40 or 50 apples to him, I think. I swear to God, that's what it is. over here. This appears to be a recent avalanche sealed off the road leading out of the valley. All right. There seems to be a fox north of the road. Oh, you talk to us. My foot is caught in this cruel trap, but I am in great pain. Surely you could take a minute and set me free. Yeah, I got you, homie. You spring the trap. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, it sometimes pays off to be polite, even to rude people. As the amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. To break the spell, you need to talk to the Dryad. Au revoir, ta-ta for now, I'll be seeing you. All right, so there we go. We got a little more information.
I think this takes us right back into town. Sure did. Oh, we can sell those flowers. I think that's one of the ingredients she needs. Just let us go and practice climb this tree. Yeah, well. You probably knock on the door. Come on in. The fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odors as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy for an adventure. You must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you healing potions if you like. I also buy components if you're interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me. I always have so much going on around here. What kind of components do you need? I always need ingredients for making potions. Right now, I need some of Aranda's flowers, magic mushrooms, troll beer to let me think. Oh, yes, Chitar claws. I'll be happy to pay for bringing them back. Also, buy back any empty flasks you have so that I can recycle them. At least not one night after all. Thank you. You can always use flowers from here. Here is peace. Here are your silvers. I got ten silvers now. Yay! Oh, by the way, I happen to find a ring in your ventures. I lost my favorite gold ring. I'll give a reward to the one who returns it. All right, well, I happen to know where we can fight some goblins, because we just need some cash, I think. Oh, the old centaur. He looks like he's grinning the shit out of us. Then he looks down all depressed. All right, so the city is behind, below us. So I think we should be able to fight some fuckers here. That was a mean look in his eye and you prepare for battle. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know any attack spells. Goblin body a long way. How much you got? All right, he's got five silvers, but we need like 60 silvers. This is gonna take a while. There's gotta be something else we can do. Crazy looking. Hey, the mushrooms. A ring formed around with a rather large additional mushroom. Whoa, what would you say? Take a handful of smaller mushrooms. Carefully put them in your pack. What happens if you eat them? Let's go try and sell our our dagger. See how much money we get back for it. Maybe there's no inflation. I don't know where we are. We should probably start running, maybe.
Oh, hey. Grin at us. No, he's not going to look at us this time. Let's go over here. Really? We gotta say, stop and look around. What time is it? The day is dawning. Oh, it's still early in day two. We do need to go to the inn. So you turn to my shop, ask me what you will, but keep it to the point. My spells don't seem to work here. Do not toy with me. I didn't mean to come here, actually. I meant to go over to the good guy, the goods. So she's got all the apples we need. Can we sell? Oh, we can't sell shit back to him? Well, ain't that some shit. All right, well, that's about all the time we have for today, though, guys. So drop a like if you haven't already. Drop a sub if you're new. I'm out.